Hello and welcome to Factorio Single Belt. I'm Cretio. So let's see what we want to do in this episode. Oh, first of all, let's have a look. It seems that, uh, where are we? It seems we don't have a lot of iron ore left. 4.2k. We have 71k of copper. The stone we have removed already. And we have 108k of coal. But yeah, this is actually interesting because as soon as this have gone all, as we don't have any more uh, any more iron, we can get the belt to go st straight from here and up. We don't need to go around this area, which would help a lot with uh, getting more belts. But yeah, the idea today, I don't know. Honestly, I have no idea what to do today. Because one thing is the oil stuff and the belt stuff. We want belts over here, red belt, uh, blue belts that is, over here. And yeah, it seems it's about here we have. Oh, it's actually all the way up here that we have handled the blue belts. So it's this area, but it's also all of this new area we have mapped out that we want blue belts. So this, we, we need a lot of blue belts still. Uh, so that's one thing we can do. Another thing, is to get the oil outpost fixed down here. Uh, oh, we don't have a radar. That's a third thing. We can place radars. That's actually something we should do no matter what we do. Uh, what we do otherwise. But yeah. Oh, and we need an another thing is to take care of biter bases to be able to as it is now, we only have one of the oil wells running, but clearing the biters would allow us to start all five of them. That is actually the best idea, but we only have eight laser turrets in our hand at least. But do we have any more stored anywhere? Oh yes, two and one. Eleven laser turrets, that's not enough. Where are they attacking? They're attacking up there. Let's go there and have a look. Uh, then we can avoid making a decision for a couple of seconds more while we are looking at this. Because it, it's not critical that they attack up there now. But when we have all of this in place, it is kind of critical because that will be the base of our our operations but they didn't manage to get through anything they just damaged the uh, turret a bit and if I can only find the repair packs we have fixed that okay no problems that's fixed now let's go and have can't we move that in between here should be able to do that, shouldn't we? Hmm. Let's see if I can figure it out. If we go down, oh, if we go down this far, we can do it. But we want this belt, so no, we can't. We can't do that. Damn it. Oh well. And we can't raise this higher. I think no. We have uh, used all of the space, so let's not worry about that. But yeah, do we have materials to create laser turrets? And the answer is no. Do we have batteries? Batteries, batteries. I guess they should be here somewhere. Oh. There we go. No, we don't have any batteries. What does batteries take? 
uh, to create ion copper and sulfuric acid. Oh, sulfuric acid, let's have a look at that. Sulfur, um, sulfuric acid, that takes ion plates. And sulfur, and sulfur takes water and petroleum gas, so sulfur shouldn't be a problem. But we need ion and copper plates. We have a lot of ion plates, let's grab a few copper plates as well. I need uh, a bigger inventory. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to do that with uh, running forward and backward with the empty barrels. I can... Oh, we don't want to go over there. We are at the correct spot over here. Yeah, I concluded that we actually do have kind of what we need. Okay, so sulfur is the issue. Oh, okay. How are those set up? If sulfur is less than 25. Oh, so we have sulfur stored. Let's get that. Let's grab that. Oh. Okay. Let's put that down, repair that uh, turret, pick it up again, and then we can grab the rest of the sulfur. And grabbing that, now we are outputting a lot of sulfur, which should allow us to create more sulfuric acid, and let's add a bit of uh, iron plates and copper plates. We can't add that over here, nope. Then we should have everything needed to create batteries. Oh, the problem is that I don't know where the batteries goes. Oh, the sulfur have to go all around here. Let's add just a small amount of it. Let's add all of it. Then we add all of that to this one, and it's finished before we get the sulfur over here. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so what we need to do is to make sure we have a fair amount of laser turrets. Otherwise, we can't go out and kill baitos, uh, baitos, not baitos. Oh, and we also need to make sure to have. Green science packs, which requires inserters, which requires iron gear wheels. Oh yeah, we don't have any inserters. Iron gear wheels and iron plates. Let's add both to this. And then we are grabbing, uh, grabbing the inserters. Oh, green circuits as well. Let's get that going as well. Then hopefully we should get a bunch of uh, science packs being produced. And if we don't, we can always pick up the inserters. Oh, that's going fast. We can always pick up the inserters over here. And then uh, manually create the science packs or do it automatically, just dumping it in the assembly machine. And yeah, it seems like it's the... Uh, oh, we can actually have a look at the power stuff. Yeah, we have a few red science packs. So it's the green one that's the big problem. But let's have a look at the red one as well. If I can only find it. There we go. Red one takes. Oh, I don't get wheels. There we go. Let's grab a bit more copper plates. Let's see, do we have any more laser turrets now? Yes, we. No. 
that's not less turret. This is less turret. Uh, are we full on the uh, accumulators? Yeah, I hope so. Otherwise, I think the batteries will be used by those. Please give me insertos. And just plunk it in here. Belts. Please give me a few of those as well. And then we can... Let's do it like that. Then we got all of it going, I think. To get the fluid wagon. When we got that, we can at least set up the train. Hmm. Batteries. Oh yeah. I have to take a look at that as well. What is happening with the uh, with the sulfuric acid now? Three and five. That shouldn't make any difference. That's less than fifty. Yeah, that. Should. Oh, I know what this. This pump is the other way. Making the sulfuric acid being produced slowly. So let's get it produced a bit more quickly. Turn it around. We want like bursts of it. Because if we don't, if we just produce all of it, we don't know what will happen. Well, we kind of do. Then, oh. If we produce all of it uh, we will basically get a lot produced and then it goes into the storage and then from the storage we can't do much we have to get it manually let's grab a few more copper plates go and turn off the petroleum gas And get copper plates into use. There we go. Yeah, we have everything loaded up now. Uh, at least to create the batteries. Let's get rid of those. This is just, just working. Oh, let's get some more of these. And hopefully we get most of the sulfuric acid. We won't get all of it. We can see on the other side. We are leaving a few of them. Maybe we should put extra inserters to get those as well. And let's get more sulfuric acid. Yeah, we are producing batteries at least. Oh, let's have a look. Laser turrets, battery, electronic circuits, and steel plates. Turn that back. Let's see. Do any sulfur uh, any sulfur get past this now? And it seems that it doesn't. That leads me to think that right now we can actually change this around to empty those uh, tanks. Well, they won't be emptied, but we are producing a lot of sulfur. And my guess is that uh, even with all that sulfur, the batteries can't, can't uh, use all of it. So let's go. Oh, we do have a few batteries. We do have a few laser turrets as well. Great. How many batteries? Enough for oh, enough for two 
assembly machine or oh, two uh, two laser turrets. That's great. And yeah, picking up the raw material, then we don't have to produce it manually. Oh, and these barrels that I've got, I don't want them in my inventory. They take too much space, way too much space. Do we have a good chest where we can add them? That's rail, that's uh, vehicles, this is defense, I think. What's that? Constant combat. No, no, no. Okay, we don't have a good chest to get rid of them. Let's let's see if we remember them and let them just go around here like forever. Yeah, we don't have any uh, any sulfuric acid over at the last one. So I, I think this works out pretty well. Oh, we do. Maybe we should turn off the sulfur for just a second to make sure that we don't fill everything up with uh, sulfuric acid. Because if we do that, then uh, these wouldn't grab all the sulfur and we might get in get a bit of troubles. Oh, but these are keeping to produce still producing yeah okay and now we're done 16 turrets okay I'm gonna say this turn this around again get producing grab all of the batteries grab all of the uh, all of the turrets Goody, no turrets, that's not good. Oh, and then go down and fight Baitos. Oh, we do have a few more. That's a lot of batteries. And I don't know if we have enough uh, materials. I definitely don't know, but uh, why not try? We have to do something interesting in this episode, don't we? Okay. Let's go far enough that this closes, but we don't want to run too far. Okay, let's have a look. This base seems quite big. This base seems okay, but it's out, it's not the immediate danger. I'm gonna go for this base first. Oh, and I'm actually... Okay. I didn't realize that we were missing a turret over there. But I am actually gonna pick up this turret. And let's do it like that. Then we have power pole. Turrets. And oh, then we go. That's a big worm. Is there another big worm? No, one big worm. That's more than enough since I don't have a good armor. But it's kind of okay. Two big worms. That would have been really bad. Okay, retreat a bit. Oh, now I know what I forgot. I did not put the, uh, the thief. Oh, retreat, retreat, retreat. I did not put the repair packs in the proper position. Yeah, I need to stay back to regain some uh, health. I don't dare to do anything else right now. Well, the worst have been taken care of. But yeah, we are still still in a lot of trouble. Let's create a few more repair packs. These turrets can only take care of the fighters that are attacking, it seems. We'd, oh, we could take care of a little bit more. That's great. 
but now we do actually have a bit of uh, a bit of uh, health again. That means we can go forward and get some more turrets planks down. And let's get the repair packs in a good location. Yes, that was the big bike, the big uh, worm. I mean. Okay. Get that. And get the last couple of biters and bases. This might. Oh! I did not think that would work. And we have our wagon finished. Great. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is to go back, fix the wagon. Because that, that is definitely the, uh, the most important thing to get the belts running. Yes, I do know we don't have enough oil here. No, uh, okay, it's not the most important thing. We need a bit more oil to make it worth go out and uh, getting all of that. But we don't have it yet, so let's take out this base as well, I guess. Mm, yeah, why not? Let's take out that base and then we go back and uh, get the wagons. This this base down here, it's way too big for us to take care of now. I don't dare to do it, so we just we simply have to wait. Okay, it's over there. It's not that bad. Doesn't seem to be a lot of uh, a lot of worms. There we go, one more, and now we put our defense line. Put that in. Oh, turrets, please. And we can go closer and take out the whole base, I think, in one go. That should be enough to take care of all of this. Oh yes. Repair everything. And then we just go back. Oh, our power pole got uh, damaged a bit. That's something you normally forget about. But the power poles... Well, oh, there we go. The power poles are probably the most important thing in an attack. At least with a turret creep attack. Uh, because without the power, what are you gonna do? Oh, can I create those wagons manually? Yes, I can. Oh, I don't even need to go back. That Get those separated from each other. Oh, it takes a little bit of time to get the wagons produced. But it seems that we can do it without having to go back to our base. And then we can get the first load at least. Which will be like half a load, but still. We can get that back to our base immediately. Oh no, not that one. Want the G. There we go. Yep. Repair that. You train, please go to uh, oil one until inventory full, and then go to oil temp unload until inventory is empty. Please go to oil one. Stupid. Oh. We haven't put the signals in over here. That is something we should do. Otherwise, when we have a train over here, we are blocking the whole system everywhere. And these, let's have a look. Yeah, one, two, three, four. We have plenty of space to have the train without having the signal being disturbed. Okay, now let's get Let's get 
some uh, hole over here. There we go, and it does connect. Great. Yep, everything seems to be fine, except that we are only using one pump. But if we go up, if you we go to temp oil unload or whatever it's called, then we should be able to see if it actually works or if there's still issues with it. But I, I think it should work, and I think that we should be uh, building a lot of belts. Yes, these are being... The train is being emptied, and then just... Then returns right away. And the oil is being removed, put into the... These... Yeah. This is great. Oh. Of course I needed to turn this one around. We have way too much... Uh, too much uh, sulfur now. And probably too many batteries. Although I don't agree. But according to the uh, limit we have set up. We probably have too, ma too much. Oh. Let's see. We do have... A few belts, let's get those in there manually, and let's get a few more uh, iron gear wheels set up. Not too many of course, not more than we have. There we go, iron gear wheels, let's go and have a look at the batteries, state of those, 247. 260 yeah let's get those and let's get that and then we can create nine laser turrets only oh we need green circuits i guess it's not the batteries that is the problem right now steel plates yeah oh yeah it's the uh, green circuits no, it's steel. 600, 700, let's grab half a stack. And then we have those. Do we have any new green circuits? Yes, a few. Let's use our resources, all of it, for this. Let's make sure that we use our batteries wisely. The other resources we have a ton of, so that shouldn't be a big problem. Oh, we need more uh, steel. And a bit more copper. Oh, and we don't have enough batteries. That is what we were waiting for. Now we have a big uh, lump of laser turrets. So we could and we should go down and uh, yeah, I, I just added that because I didn't like the flashing. So I went into the research menu and out of it again, I should have warned you. Yeah, we do want to get the rest fixed, but let's get the, uh, let's get the belts built first. The belts that we have at least. go and running this way is way faster yeah we didn't get all of it but we didn't expect to oh need to go over here and over here and how many belts do we have 10 of them that's a fair amount i think Let's see if we have any more iron gear wheels. Yeah, only like 200. That's not gonna, gonna be enough. Let's grab the, uh, all of the belts we have now. And let's go back. And uh, hopefully we have enough to repair the gap. 
And then I mean the gap where we don't have the blue belts. We do still have the red ones. No, not enough to do that. Never mind. Let's not worry about it. Let's instead go down and uh, we'll tamp under. Go down and handle some more biters. And I'm calling for the train, not to get the oil, but to get the train. Then I can, uh, then I can go with that back. Maybe I should stay here and then I can just enter the train. There we go. And there the train goes. It's so fast to turn around. So either I have to stop it or I have to uh, just turn around basically. But let's set everything up while we are waiting, while we are going down there. Yeah. I think we have everything set up as we want it. It's it's good enough at least. So let's go and take a look at this base. Oh, maybe do we have a radar? Yes, we do. Maybe we should plunk that down in this corner to see if we can get uh, we don't get a lot of uh, information about that space ah, it's not worth it let's go down instead and place it a bit lower then we can scan a bigger area and then we can start attack radar let's get that there power pole goes over there, radar goes over there, yeah, a bit a bit larger area, we have some medium worms but no big worms and that's basically the uh, information I needed. It's still gonna be really hard because we are not geared up to handle this kind of fights but at least we have a bunch of uh, turrets now. Okay, let the turrets take care of the first wave and then we go forward. Okay, we we will of course let the turrets take care of all the waves. But the first wave especially, since that's a lot oh retreat. Since the first wave is a lot of uh biters. that and then we only have nine turrets left so let's go back grab a few more turrets and go forward and plunk on the next set something like that and that should be it oh that's it for the first part of this base let's have a look Small worm, but no no big worms. Good. Okay, I guess let's repair the turrets. And then go back and uh, grab the turrets from behind. From, from behind, from the back of our line. And then we go and do the next attack. And that's basically gonna be it for this episode. Because I'm gonna watch some uh, GDQ. Oh, yeah. Let the turrets take care of the first uh, first round of uh, attack. Oh, let's have a look at the map. Yeah. Small worm. Th this is a big base. A big worm over there. Okay. Good to know. Let's just go and take care of uh, take care of business, I guess. 
Okay. Retreat. Then we go forward again. And retreat, repair turrets. And grab them. Hopefully we have enough power poles. Maybe I should create a few more of those. Yes, I will, but we are creating turrets first, so that it might take quite a while before we get to producing power poles. Oh, this is, this is awful. We need to go further to the left, I think. Let's do that, and then we get some turrets. Yep, and then we go for forward, and we get hurt, and we place turrets. Retreat, 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 repair, and uh, get some health back. Yeah, I know they destroyed the turret. Grab the turrets from below, or oh, from behind. And then we can need to advance once more. Grab everything. Go back inside the base. everything and repair turrets repair stuff repair this one it's about to break oh all of our turrets over here are about to break um okay let's abandon that area for now oh maybe not Maybe we can still do it. Now nah, let's abandon that leftmost area. Yeah, we are getting way too many big vectors. Maybe just abandon this. Grab the turrets that we can. And then retreat. And let them destroy everything down there. Let's get the power poles over here. I think we are that we have fought them back a bit. I mean, not as far as we wanted, definitely not. But hopefully far enough that they are no threat. Yeah, we had it. Yeah, I, I think this is kind of enough. So that we do dare to get some more oil stuff uh, running. Ooh, but I, I'm sure if we would have continued, we would have died. But let's get uh, let's get some power for these pumps, pump jacks. Like that. And then see what happens with the pollution. I think we fought them back enough that we can run all of these five uh, pump jacks. And since we have a bunch of extra turrets, let's at least add turrets where we have ghost images. It might not do a lot, but it might help out quite a bit. Basically have no oil right now, but that doesn't matter. Let's have another look at the pollution. Well, it seems to be fair. It seems to be okay, I think. Okay, let's uh, grab the train and go back to our unload station. And then of course, oh, not that one, this one. Then of course, just get off and see that the, uh, that the pump is 
in the right direction because I don't know for sure if it is or not. Exit the train, just stand there. Then we don't risk getting uh, getting killed. And then we just go back and grab. Oh, we do need more. Iron gear wheels. Let's get that going as well. And then, of course, we will grab our uh, blue belts, add all of our red belts, and get whatever we have placed. I mean, why? Why shouldn't we do that? There we go. And let's do the inside, I think. There we go. Now we go all the way. Come on. Yep. And we have quite a few, quite a bit more handled with blue belts. So yeah, soon everything is blue belts. The red belts. Oh, we did manage to get rid of all of it. Great. And this pump, yeah, that removes petroleum gas from the system, which is great. Oh, we might get into trouble with light oil. So let's create two more storage tanks for that. It will be created like in the end of next episode or something like that. We are creating so many laser turrets now, but it's good. I'd rather have that than having no laser turrets at all. And we do have a bit of crude oil. Not a lot, but a bit of it. And we are still producing the advanced setup here. Where we are producing less, uh, less uh, heavy oil. But I think that's better for the future. It's worse for the belts, but it's better for the future. So... I prefer having it that way. Oh yeah, and when we start with the belts to change those later on, of course we will start getting this belt over, up, down, and then back into this again. And then the next step is to get it up here, back, and then we, we do it step by step. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay, I think we have done a pretty decent job in this episode. Let's have another look at the map. Oh, the pollution is spreading, but it's not spreading to where we have any, uh, any biters. Any biter bases, not yet at least. So hopefully this is all that will happen. And of course we will not start with the iron mine until we have it all under control. But yeah, that's it for this episode. Thank you a lot for watching. I will grab a few iron gear wheels while I say see you next time. Bye.